The one thing I was the most afraid to do. I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about two things <laughs> I was most afraid to do. The biggest thing probably in my life was when I was 19, my mother died of cancer. And I was alone in the world at that point in time because my grandmother was old. My grandmother was senile at the time. Going back, uh, I was a, a freshman at Cornell University when my mother started getting sick. Going back to school was one of the most difficult things. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it was something I was afraid to do, but it was something that was extremely difficult, picking myself up and continuing. Um, I did that, one, because I knew my mother would want me to do that, um, and because I really, really wanted that career in astronomy. The other thing doesn't really relate to my career, but it may some, say something about the type of person I am. Um, my husband flies a small uh, twin-engine plane, and we were on a family trip to the Bahamas several years ago, actually more than several years ago. My, my kids, who are now in high school, were pretty young at the time. So the three kids were seated in the back of the plane, my husband and I were in the front of the plane, and we got into some seriously bad weather. For the first time in my life, I experienced what it meant to be paralyzed by fear. And that's not a metaphor, that's literal. It is possible to be so scared you can't even make yourself move. And I thought for sure we were going down, that we were going to crash, that we were going to die, and my three kids in the back seat with us. It was the most scary experience of my life. And the hardest thing in the world for me, after we actually landed the plane safely, was getting back into that plane again. Um, and flying ever since has given me some bad moments. And since I am a scientist and I do travel a lot, um, there's very little that you can do about those fears, um, except, you know, again, I think this speaks to my, my stubbornness and determination. Um, so it was very, very difficult for me to get back in a plane after that experience. So perhaps I'm not cut out to be an astronaut. I guess I'm in the best profession for me being an astronomer and keeping my feet planted on the ground.